Hey, Four Wing Country Club, this is Brock Rolowski, Director of Tennis here at the club. Uh, we're obviously out here in the bubble. I wanted to make a quick video here today to explain a couple things regarding our complimentary ball machine, our Playmate ball machine, to give you guys some ins and outs of how to use the machine, how to run and operate the different drills and patterns you can use, and how to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity here in the bubble. And obviously once the bubble comes down out in the summer and on the courts, uh, so you can use it anytime you'd like. So enjoy the video, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you guys out here on the courts. All right, so first things first, this is our Playmate ball machine and it can be found over on the side of the bubble and obviously will be located inside the tennis center when the summer comes around and the bubble comes down. But just wanted to explain a few things about how to operate this machine and how to take advantage of all the opportunities it presents for you out here on the courts and do a quick little walkthrough here. Uh, first thing you'll notice is I unwound the, co uh, the cable and the extension cord brought it all the way out here and I set it up at the baseline. You wanna have it set up just inside or just on top of the baseline to give you an optimal performance and to be able to execute all the different drills and patterns that are designed on this machine. Okay, next let's talk a little bit about how to actually turn the machine on. As you notice, uh, we have the extension cord that runs all the way through the machine and connects over here to this cable. That's number one, make sure the cable is connected. And then you'll come over and you'll turn the switch to the on position. You'll hear a couple of mechanical things gear up and a couple beeps to let you know that the machine is ready to roll. Then we come over to the operating panel here and you see a few different options to design different drills to control the height, speed, and spin of the ball and also the feed rate, which is how often the ball is coming. And so what I'll do here is I will show you a couple different patterns and how to get this machine up and running so that you can go on the other side and enjoy some nice hitting sessions. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to test and see how the balls are going to come out of the machine and if you need to adjust any of the speed, height, or spin settings. So we'll press and get it started. Looks like we're off to a good start. If you'd like to adjust, you can always adjust the differences of height, speed, and spin. And if you'd like to do that, you simply come down here and you adjust to make the ball either go higher over the net with more or less spin, or speed and more or less spin as you'd like. The last thing that you can do is you can manually change the feed rate to go faster or slower, which means the different pattern that you choose from ball to ball will either go faster or slower depending on how fast you set the rating. And then the last thing is to go from remote to bypass. If you go to bypass, the machine will run as you go to the other side and will run until you choose to stop it. The other option you have is you can flip this to remote in which case this remote will always be setting right inside here in this little mechanism. And when you set it to remote, you click simply this one button to feed on. You'll see the machine will start running. It'll optimize your pattern. And then you simply press the button one more time and the machine stops. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is always start with a clear pattern to make sure you're starting from scratch. And you'll notice up top, you'll see a blinking light here which is to hit the ball straight ahead. You have a very narrow pattern, which gives you kind of a, a wide left to right alternating and oscillating um, idea here. And then you have a little bit wider pattern if you wanna do a little more running and a little more fitness as you go from ball to ball. So what you'll do is you'll select first the directional pattern you'd like to choose. And then you can use all these different court locations of where the ball can go. So let's say you want to go to forehand, to backhand, to forehand, to backhand. You choose those four and you now have a four ball rotation and four ball pattern. So that's how you use our Playmate ball machine. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out via email or via phone and I'd be happy to help and answer any questions you might have or also to give you some ideas and tips of how to optimize the ball machine and how to use it to best suit you and your playing style or your goals here on court. Uh, one quick reminder is to always, as you're able, put the ball machine away, roll up the cord and slide it back over to the starting position so the next member can happily use it and enjoy their time on the machine as well. Hope to see you guys out on the court soon.